One of my favourite things about the Costa Luminosa has got to be this statue. I don't really understand it, but I don't think you're supposed to understand art. The colour has actually worn away in a couple of places where people have touched it over the last 9-10 years, most noticeably on its nose and also on its bum. This statue is huge and when there's parties it gets covered in balloons and confetti. I just think it is really cool, I've never seen anything like it on a cruise ship before. The next thing that I love is this atrium. It is huge and it goes from the top to the bottom of the ship, connecting everything. The buffet is at the top and at the bottom. There's the restaurants, the tour operators, there's loads of seating, there's a bar, and this is where all of the parties happen on the ship. It definitely is the heart of the ship and there's always music going on here. Sometimes there's live music and if there's not, we travelled in December so it was full of Christmas music, but it certainly is where everything happens on the ship. I've never seen anything like this before. It is so colourful, it is so bright, it is so lively, and this ship is so full of life. I just love this atrium. It's a little bit crazy. I admit it is not for everybody. I see why some people don't like it, but I actually really like it. It's really, really fun. I really love the theatre. It is huge. It's got an upper level of seating and a lower level. The view from the top isn't really great, so we always sat on the bottom. But what I love is that you don't have an individual chair, so you all sit in these big seats. You've got tables for your drinks. They don't have bar service in the theatre, but it's easy enough to get a drink and bring it in. But there's no trying to scoot round people to get out because you just get up and you can walk. There's so much room. And I just really like the decor. It's all lit up in blue, crazy kind of colours. I just think that is a lot of fun. I was really impressed with the entertainment on board. It has got to be really difficult for them to come up with shows that work in so many different languages. Some of the entertainment was a bit bizarre. They had strange shadow finger puppets and things, but we heard a lot of good singers and dancers and acrobatics, and generally the shows looked really visually appealing. They had fire, they had lasers, they had smoke machines. The cruise director came on at the beginning of every show and he did a little explanation about what was going to happen. He did it in English, Italian, Spanish, Portuguese, French, German and maybe even more languages. I was really impressed by that. Most of the singing was in English actually, quite a good percent of it was in English considering that the majority of passengers are Italian. There were only 62 British passengers when we were on board out of about 2,500 guests. So it's a really small percentage that are British. There are a few more Americans but we didn't really see many on this trip so we were really impressed with how we could understand the shows. Everything was spoken in multiple languages so that we could understand and most of the singing and dancing and things was done in English so I was really impressed with the entertainment on board. The Costa Luminosa has a full promenade deck which is something that I really really love in a cruise ship. I love going for a couple of laps just when you want to get some steps up. Maybe you've been sitting down all day, you've eaten loads, I've been eating donuts for breakfast on this cruise so sometimes it's nice just to go for a walk around the promenade deck. This has a full promenade deck, it is really wide, it's not really used very much, it's never very busy but I really like it. I loved the main dining room, it is huge absolutely massive and it is just as bright and lively and colourful and loud as everywhere else on the ship. It is not a quiet relaxing restaurant, it is loud, it is full of life, it is people enjoying themselves and I enjoyed myself there too. I really like the decor of this restaurant, I love ones that have a big staircase and an upper and lower level. I don't know why, I just like that and we were sat right at the back of the restaurant so we could see down into the sea and when we were sailing away it was really really beautiful there so I really liked to the main restaurant. I love the fact that all of the staff on board spoke English and they spoke English really really well. I don't know how many languages all of the staff speak but it's very impressive. I only speak English and sometimes I struggle with that so I'm always really impressed when people can speak multiple languages. On the cruise there was also an English representative who phoned us when we got on board just to let us know that she was our point of contact which I thought was really nice. As I said, all of the staff do speak English, but sometimes it's nice to have someone who has English as their first language. Just in case we got into any problems, we'll be able to explain to her better. So I really like the fact that they have representatives from different languages on board. Just in case you need anything, they have a French one, a German one, an English one, whatever you need. There's someone on board who speaks your language. My cabin wasn't the most exciting cabin in the world. I can't say that I particularly love this decor. There's nothing wrong with it, but it isn't the most exciting cabin I've ever seen. But what I did love is how practical it is and how much storage space there is. There is so much more storage in this cabin than I could ever need. 
We were very comfortable here. All we do in an inside cabin is sleep and shower. And the shower is great. The bed is comfortable. This cabin is always clean and there is so much storage room. So I loved this cabin. I love the fact that this ship is so full of music and if it's not live music it's recorded Christmas music because we are cruising in December. There are so many singers, people playing guitar, someone playing harp at one point, piano, anything. When you wander around this ship in an evening there is so much music, it is so loud, it is so lively, it really is a busy, vibrant ship. I've been on cruise ships ranging from 900 passengers up to maybe five and a half, six thousand, and I have to say I love the size of the Costa Luminosa. This has up to 2,800 passengers, but it doesn't feel too busy. There's always somewhere to sit. There is so much space on the ship. You'll never not be able to find somewhere to sit down and have a drink in an evening, which is a problem I found on other cruise ships but it doesn't feel too busy on this ship. It's a big enough ship that there are loads of exciting and fun things to do. There's 4D cinemas, there's loads of bars, there's loads of food, there's theater, there's loads of stuff going on. But equally, I don't think this ship is too big. I think it's a really good size. I love the fact that this cruise definitely isn't just for old people. There are so many kids, there's babies, there's teenagers, there's people in their 20s, 30s, 40s, 50s, 60s, 70s, 80s, 90s, maybe even 100s. There is everybody on this ship. There are loads of families on here, couples, people traveling as friends. It's a real mix of people and people from all over the world, which makes it really exciting. I can't pretend that I didn't love the price of this cruise. This cruise was so cheap. We booked a seven night cruise for £400, including flights to Venice from London which is an absolute bargain it is so 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 cheap I'm gonna be bringing you another video comparing this cruise to the other cruises that I've been on I've been on quite a lot of cruise lines but I've never been on a cruise quite like this there are loads of things that I wish I knew before this cruise and I want to share those with you on this channel and also on my website cruising isn't just for old people.co.uk please subscribe so that you don't miss that video I've got loads to show you and tell you about Costa